Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and we got some coaching news. The Washington Commanders are working toward an agreement with former Stanford offensive coordinator Tavita Pritchard. So we'll talk about that. Also some other coach, coaches that they're interested in and also some Jeff Bezos news as well. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. It takes one second. It's free. Also hit that like button and that, that notification bell as well. So this isn't official, but it looks like it will happen soon. So I'll read the first tweet from a couple days ago and the updated tweet today. So it says, former Stanford OC Tavita Pritchard is a prime candidate to join the commander's offensive staff per sources. He could visit the team in Washington as early as today if the co or if he coaches QBs, his specialty, Ken Zampezi, could stay on in a different role. And then today, a couple, a few hours ago, he tweeted, update, Washington is now working toward an agreement with Pritchard, likely as QB coach, Nothing final, but he's been in the mix for a few days here. So, looks like it's going to happen. Not official yet, but it looks like he will be the Washington Commanders QB coach. My thoughts, like, of course, I'm not a, I don't know a ton about him. I'm doing some research, but I like that we're bringing in someone fresh, someone a little bit different, someone from the college world. He did play QB at Stanford, I believe. Here's kind of his background, former Stanford quarterback. He was the OC for Stanford for a while. Uh, let's see, the 2023 season will be his 14th on the Cardinal coaching staff and 10th as the quarterback's coach, a 2009 Stanford graduate. Pritchard served as offensive coordinator from 2018 to 2022. When he was at the OC there, there was some NFL, you know, uh, players drafted JJ Arcega Whiteside you know he got him you know he got him drafted in the second round above all these other guys which is very impressive Bryce Love who was amazing before the injury Caden Smith Colby Parkinson who's been pretty good for the Seahawks Walker Little for the Jags Davis Mills who you know hasn't been great in the NFL but he developed him and he got him drafted in the third round that was a good job by him there Drew Dahlman and Semi Faheko from uh, the Dallas Cowboys drafted him. And he did a really good job developing Tanner McKee over the last two seasons. And who knows, he could get drafted. Maybe the, if, maybe the commanders will be interested in him now that we have his OC slash quarterbacks coach there. So, yeah, that's just something to, you know, watch out for. So, you know, he did a decent job in Stanford, has a lot of experience as an OC and has experience as a quarterback's coach, also played the position, so he does have a lot of good experience, which is good. Also bringing in a fresh mindset, someone who worked at Stanford at the college level, and you know, he's not, he doesn't really have ties to Rivera, which I love, you know, there's nothing wrong with a few kind of familiar faces, but when the whole team is the same, you know, from the same place, that's when it gets a little bit frustrating. So I like that we're bringing in a new face, and you know, I guess, He's kind of young, what, 2009, he graduated in 2009, so, you know, probably, you know, he, he's he's not too old, he's not too old at all, you know, 35-ish years old, so that's kind of it on Tavita, uh, Tavita Pritchard, and then some news on other coaches, uh, Justine Anderson a couple days ago tweeted out, Chiefs coach Greg Lewis, who has interested from several suitors, is en route to visit the Washington Commanders today per league sources, and this is also two days ago. He's expected to discuss a potential role with the team at the facility. So probably would be a receiver coach like the comma here says. He was a former NFL receiver, and I'll read this tweet from Tom Pelissero. Kind of the same thing, but a little bit different. says the Commanders have expressed a high level of interest in hiring Greg Lewis to a top spot on new assistant head coach slash OC Eric Bieniemy staff for sources. Lewis, the former NFL receiver, has coached multiple uh, positions in Kansas City and is well regarded. So that's another guy that the commanders are interested in, a guy that has ties to Bieniemy, obviously worked with Kansas City over the last six years. That is someone I would definitely, you know, be interested in. I like that there's a lot of different suitors interested in him so if the commanders were able to get him let's say as the receivers coach that replaces drew terrell and then you have tavita pritchard as the oc and then maybe ken zampezi could stay on as a different role maybe pass game coordinator he's solid at that and that would probably kind of be it 
for the different coaches. So that's what it's looking like. It looks like Tavita Pritchard. I, I keep wanting to say Tavita Jackson. I have no idea why. Um, but Tavita Pritchard, you know, looks like it's close to a done deal and he would be a quarterback coach. It looks like Greg Lewis, on the other hand, that is someone who who knows if it'll happen. Seems like he's a little bit interested in the job, but also looks like other teams are interested in him and maybe the Chiefs would want to keep him and, you know, maybe to you know hire him, the commanders would have to maybe elevate his role a little bit. So I'm not completely sure what his role was this past year, but that's just something to consider. But I like the names. Two guys have no ties to Rivera. One guy that has ties to Eric Bieniemy, and the other guy, I don't think they have too, you know, they don't have ties. I mean, you know, Tavita Pritchard's been there for his whole, been at Stanford from 2009 to now, and Eric Bieniemy, I don't think he coached at Stanford. I don't think. I know he did at UCLA, but that's that's really it. So, yeah, that's kind of the news on the coaching front. We'll probably get a, you know, a better idea of what's happening in the next few days. Now, some ownership news, and this is just kind of a sum up. So, there's some new. I'll get this tweet up first. So, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has hired an investment firm to evaluate a possible bid for the Washington Commanders, according to two people familiar with the situation. So, that's what the Washington Post and Nikki Jabal uh, reported on yesterday. So, he looks like he's getting in to the bid. And then, this is JPA Football says. Uh, Jeff Bezos and Jay-Z partnership to buy the commanders remains possible. Bezos w- would want to rate, retain control of the team. I mean, obviously, you know, if he's buying the team, he's going to, you know, have control of it. J- uh, Jay-Z does not have enough money to have control over the team. Uh, and then there's a report came out today that says Snyder won't sell the team for less than $6 billion. We will see. And the NFL is really pushing for Bezos to make a bit. I've already covered this a lot. I'm a Jeff Bezos fan. I want, you know, or not a fan, but I want Jeff Bezos to buy the team. Anyone, if anyone buys the team, I'm happy. And as anyone who offers $6 billion, you know, just t- takes us out of our misery, I will be very happy with that. But I prefer Jeff Bezos because he knows how to run a business. He's done it with many other, you know, many businesses, including obviously Amazon, uh, Whole Foods, and um, the Washington Post. He's done a good job there letting the people do their job. And I think he could do that with the commanders. Maybe after year one, he chooses a GM or uh, the head coach. And then after that, he lets those guys do what they need to do. And he's able to fund uh, a stadium and get us a state-of-the-art stadium, which I would absolutely love. So those are kind of my reasons for why I would prefer Jeff Bezos over someone like Josh Harris. But I'm fine with Josh Harris as well because he has experience with owning teams as well. And that's kind of it on the ownership front. So overall... Nothing too crazy. The ownership stuff is going to progress over the next few weeks. Hoping we get a resolution soon. I'm hoping uh, Jeff Faza steps up and offers whatever, $6.5 billion, and we can just end this and end the misery with Dan Snyder. And the, uh, the coaching stuff looks like Tavita Pritchard will be the OC, not the OC, will be the QB's coach. And then there's a chance Greg Lewis comes on as a receiver's co- receiver, receiver coach and maybe another role as well and we'll see if any other st- uh, you know changes you know come to fruition maybe John Matzka wants to retire we'll just have to wait and see